How do you feel about uh, parenting or disciplining in public? Should p parents change their discipline habits in public? Well, hopefully um, we're trying to develop discipline habits that we feel good about and that we feel um, comfortable using no matter whether there's people there or not. Right. It can be embarrassing. I remember I remember carrying my child out of the fabric store, you know, and he's flailing and wailing <laughs> and I'm carrying him and I'm saying to him, I know you really wanted to climb on that fabric and I can't let you do that in the fabric store. It's not that's not safe. And um, and so what I was sort of thinking is, you know, how can I be the, the, the kind of the container for his feelings and also set this limit for him that he doesn't understand, it doesn't make sense to him, it looks like a perfectly good place to right. climb to him. So I don't, I don't need to be mad at him. <clears throat> Some days I am anyway, but, but you can sort of back off from that feeling, you know what, I, mm -hmm. I can see what, you, what, what it looks like from your perspective. I'm disappointed because I wanted to continue shopping, but I'm gonna take you out to the car where you can have your feelings about leaving and you mm -hmm. can, and, and you can cry if you need to cry. And so I, I think, um, hopefully, as I said, that what, what we're doing in terms of disciplining is an integral part of our relationship where we're being respectful of children, we're giving them information, we're listening to their ideas, we're sharing our ideas with them, and we're setting limits. We're telling them what we want to have happen and we're following through on those limits. And all of those are things that I think that are appropriate to do in public. Sometimes it's hard if it's a place where you're supposed to be being quiet, you need to remove the child from that place. Um, but I, I think you can do most of those things in public pretty successfully.